we're going to show how to use Plasmic to visually build a page containing content from Strapi. We're going to go to the Insert menu and click on Component Store, where we'll look for Strapi. Let's insert that into our page, and now we're prompted to go to the settings to configure it. From here, we can choose exactly where our Strapi data source is. In this case, it's using the default, which is a Strapi containing a bunch of restaurant data. So we're going to use this for our demo. Let's close this tab. If I zoom in a little bit, you'll see a message that says, please specify a valid collection. On the right-hand side, with this element selected, we can see that there's an input for the collection name. So we can actually go ahead and just type in restaurants here. And now we're actually seeing the collection of restaurants, but for each one, we're showing this strappy field. And the strappy field, uh, we can, again, from the right-hand side, choose exactly which field on the restaurant object we're showing. So we can click on this and we'll see right there listed all the available fields that we can select from. And we can just go ahead and choose something like name. So now we see all the restaurant names in this four column grid. Let's insert a second field. So I'm gonna copy and paste this one. And the second one, I'm gonna show the description. And maybe the, uh, we'll add one more field. And for this third one, we'll actually show an image, a photo. So um, from here on out, you can really fully customize the layout and styling and design of these elements. So let's say I wanna drag these images to be above uh, above the titles. And let's say I also want to um, add a bit of spacing between these guys and set the title itself to be maybe a little bit larger in its typography and uh, semi-bold, centered, and let's say I also, um, uh, yeah, actually that's that's looking pretty good. I think on mobile, I'm noticing that everything is feeling a lot more cramped. So we can just use Plasmic's built-in responsive design capabilities. Uh, Plasmic is a very powerful design tool. Uh, we can just make sure it's, um, we're targeting our edits to be overrides for mobile only, and just go ahead and set the layout to be a two column grid instead of four. And that's looking much better. Um, these images, let's say we actually want them to be auto-sized in the height. And that's pretty much it for our simple responsive page that we built um, using Plasmic in just a, a, a minute here. Um, now the Strapi data fetching components, um, what's noteworthy about these is that um, Plasmic actually lets you drag and drop normal React components within your designs. And that's all these strappy data fetching components are. They're just uh, code components that are actually open source as well. So they're available on our GitHub. So you can inspect them to see how they work and learn from them. But also, you can fork them to extend and customize exactly how they work for your specific needs or for your data schema.